بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أن أبي ذر جند بن ابن جنادة وأبي عبد الرحمن معاذ بن جبل رضي الله تعالى عنهما عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال اتق الله حيثما كنت وأتبع السيئة الحسنة تمحها وخالق الناس بخلق حسن رواه الترمذي وقال حديث حسن وفي بعد النسخ حسن صحيح أنا ثارتي أبو ذر جندب ابن جنادة أن أبو عبد الرحمن وعاذ بن جبل On the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said Fear Allah wherever you may be Trail and follow up a bad deed with a good deed And it will wipe it out And treat the people with good character Related by At-Tirmidhi and he stated Hadith Hasan and in some transcripts Hasan Sahih In this hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us And instructs us to have taqwa and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And what a beautiful and important matter taqwa is because it is that barrier which the believer places between himself and the anger and punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is that mindset that the believer has that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watches his every move and hears his every statement and knows what is in his heart. And he knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold him accountable for his actions. And these are all the different meanings of taqwa. Basically what taqwa means is that you place a barrier between yourself and that which displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, have taqwa wherever you are, whether you be in private or you be in public, whether you be in your homes or you be in a foreign country or place where no one knows you, have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear him at all of these places. Because we know that shaitan is eager to mislead us and he will try to mislead you wherever you are. Therefore, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you may be. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then instructs us that if we do a bad deed, a sin, immediately follow it up with a good deed, it will wipe it away as if it was never there. And we find in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where the man comes to me and says, Ya Rasulullah, I kissed a woman who was unlawful for me. And we find that after the prayer, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبَنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ that the good deeds, they cause the bad deeds to go away. They, they wipe them away. So the Prophet wasallam said that that salah, that prayer which you have made with us, it has wiped away that deed that you have committed before. So the mu'min is eager to wipe away his or her sins. And the best way to do so is to do good deeds and to strive to do as many good deeds as possible. And lastly, the Prophet wasallam says, and treat people with good character. Treat people with generosity, with kindness, with a smiling face. And as one sheikh says, smile because your teeth are not awra. So to smile in the face of a Muslim, of your Muslim brother, is something which is beautiful. And as the Prophet ﷺ says, And to smile in the face of your brother, that is a sadaqah, a charity. So this is only one example of the good character we should show to the people and to the believers more specifically. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who have taqwa, that we fear Him wherever we may be. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who follow up our bad deeds and our sins and our evil with good deeds so that they may wipe them away. And lastly, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who treat people with good character, who have good character and who guide people and call them to Islam with our beautiful character. جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Oh